Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll teach you how you can make such animations in PowerPoint without any technical know-how. See, I have tried to make this animation of moving fishes and here is a different version of it. If you could see. Amazing, isn't it? There is another version that I've created. See this. Uh, let me show you, show this to you again. I love this one. This is a, a, something that I've done in PowerPoint animation and I'll tell you how you can do it also. All right. So if you see, these are the images that I've added over here. This was a background that I added that you were able to see. And these are two images I added. If I play it, this is how it goes. Now, how can you do it? So let's try to do this. Ooh, all right. So to do that, I'll first go to insert and I'll insert images of a ball. All right. Let's reduce the size a bit. And then insert the image of a basketball hoop. All right. So here's my basketball hoop. Here's my basketball. Let me just reduce the size a bit further. Now, there is a lesser known feature in animations where if you go over here and you have to scroll down, you see motion paths. All right. From these motion paths, I'll choose a custom path. There are multiple motion paths. I'll be covering them. So I'll choose a custom path and I'll draw a path like this. All right. And now at this stage, I know what will happen. My ball will go from here till here. Now I want it to disappear also when it reaches here. All right. So I'll add another animation and choose the option disappear. Now I will play it. See. One, two, three. It's gone. Isn't this cool? So now you were able to learn animation in just a few clicks. Now, how was I able to make this aqu aquarium? <laughs> okay. Now this was also fun. All right. So what I did was I inserted images again of fishes. So these were the images I inserted. I am selecting them all together. So now they are here. I put one here. I put one here. I put one here. And to give it an effect, I'll put one here. All right. Now we have fishes facing each other. All right. Now we will add animation to it. How? Now I'll click over here, click on add animation and choose lines. All right. And then I click on red, this red dot and take it till the end of the screen. All right. And from here, I will set the time to 15 seconds. It will take 15 seconds to do this loop. All right. And since this is the first animation, I'll choose on click. Now I'll do it for this one. I'll add animation. I'll choose line path. And I'll take it till the end of this place, till the end of the screen. And then I'll choose again 15 seconds. But since this would be the second animation, I'll choose it with previous so that they'll start moving together. Same thing I will do with these also. All right. So I'll add animations like this. And I'll take it out like this. I'll take it to 15 seconds. I'll go work with previous. And I'm done. Now if I click over here, I get this option of animation painter. I click over here and then I click on this animation. So now this animation gets applied to it also. Same way I click over here, click on animation painter, click on this image, the same animation gets applied. I just need to change it because for this, I need to ensure that it work, works with previous one. Okay, now, now one more thing that we need to do. We go to animation pane, all right, from here. If you want, what you can do is you can go to timing and make it till end, the end of the slide. So this way it will keep on repeating. All right, so I'll go to timing 
and click on keep on repeating until end of time <laughs> end of time <laughs> nice word huh? it should be end of slide <laughs> well, i'm just doing this for you so that we know what's going to happen and we will be creating this you can use this for any kind of stuff so let it be your graphs your charts right? any any thing that you want to explain all right this is done now i am going to click over here and i'll press my first click and they have started moving see isn't this cool so you were able to create an animation you can work with these images also you can re remove the background so it will repeat because we have chosen that option correct you will see that it will see it has started repeating i'm pressing escape now in case you want to work with this image you go to design sorry uh, go to format go to remove background and from here you can remove the background resize it just keep it till here keep the background remove the background so the white background that was that you were able to see has gone now same way we can do this for this one also remove background and it is done for this one also we can remove background just change the size so the fish is covered now if i try to play it see I have not removed background so this one, but from the others I have removed, you will be able to see that when they cross each other. Much smoother effect, right? So you can do this yourself also. You can actually get this file downloaded from my website, myelesson.org. All right. You can go to the download section and download this PPT from there so that you can have these effects over there itself built in and you can play around with them and then copy it or do it yourself so i hope you like this video if you did yes please go ahead and click on the like button and if you have any questions or comments please mention them and i'll try to answer them for you and please 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 click on the subscribe button so that whenever there's a new video i have made you will come to know and i'll also be motivated with your subscription thank you so much so guys until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning